Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And uh, as we were talking about taking a look at some of the options within the uh, Windows Security app. So one of the things that we'll see in the Windows Security app is, of course, the first uh, option, which is virus and threat protection. You got to make sure that this is green, that this works well. And it's related to an update that people are often asking me what they are. So if you go into your uh, settings and check Windows updates, you will see in the update and security. If you go into update history, there are some updates that are actually called um, definition updates. And they are, are, of course, security intelligence update. When you see something like that in Windows Update, it's simply because it's the uh, antivirus update. It's called now the Security Intelligence Update. And of course, a lot of you have been asking me, is it normal that it's updated sometimes several times a day? It is, because one of the things you got to know is that the um, updates for this and, and, and the viruses, you know, there are hundreds of viruses discovered every day. It's not even every week, every day. So, of course, they update this list of you know threats regularly to make sure that they can detect the latest threats if you ever encounter them. But one of the things that you can do here is when you want to, you know, some people do that. I haven't done that in a long time because, honestly, Windows Security actually scans your system regularly. So from time to time, you'll get reports showing up in the uh, quick actions. I was going to say, well, you know, um, Windows Security didn't find anything. And that's, of course, what you want. But you can actually manually do a quick scan if you want. So this is something that is to look at. Uh, you also have scan options. The scan options is the type of scans you can actually do. You can do quick scan, which is the fastest and checks the most, um, I would say the, the places where it knows that most threats will actually hide themselves. It's surprising, but most malware today still kind of hide in very specific places that are almost always the same, but there are exceptions to the rule. And that's why you also have something called a full scan. Full scan will verify every file on your PC. Custom scan, you will choose what location you want to scan. Maybe you've downloaded tons of files in a folder. You can, of course, use a custom scan like that. You can also go into your file explorer, by the way, and you can right click on a folder. And from here, you can actually have a scan with Windows Defender, as I said here. Now, you will see here that there's a little, um, it's part of those Windows inconsistencies. It's called Windows Defender here. The app is called Windows Security. Yeah, they should be called the same thing, honestly. But, you know, Microsoft for you. So you can actually right click on any folder and do uh, that custom scan without having to go through the app. And finally, you have the Windows Defender offline scan. And why would you want an offline scan? Well, some threats are not discovered while they are actually running within Windows. Also, some threats cannot be removed while Windows is actually, um, it has a grip over that file because a lot of them are executed within Windows, uh, you know, protected folders. And when they are executed and in the protected folders, often the scan detects them but cannot do anything because it can be removed. By doing an offline scan, it actually will scan all the files on your PC at startup before Windows boots. Now, remember, if you do this, it might take a long time before your system actually boots up. But it's very, very nice that you have these scan options for Windows Defender. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.